An Introduction to On-Farm Biosecurity Biosecurity refers to the implementation of policies and practices to minimize the introduction and spread of diseases. Because livestock diseases are often spread through the preventable actions of people, biosecurity should be a priority for everyone involved in poultry production. To be effective, biosecurity procedures must be both hard to avoid and easy to comply with. Even the most sophisticated biosecurity measures can be breached by human error, so it is vital that family poultry farmers see each task as possible, practical and sustainable. Controlling diseases in a flock can be done by quickly locating and identifying disease. Surveillance of flocks by trained members of the local community is essential. Public awareness and reporting of disease symptoms is also vital. If infection is discovered, all possible sources must be traced. When a disease is located and identified, measures need to be taken to stop its spread. For flocks with cases of disease, it is necessary to cull infected animals quickly and humanely. To stop the spread of diseases in the long term, biosecurity policies should be implemented at the macro level. These can include awareness campaigns, controls on internal livestock movement, and the enforcement of stricter border controls. Due to the complex differences between production systems, no one set of measures will perfectly encompass all situations. However, in an ideal context, there are nine general steps to follow to achieve biosecurity. Create a physical barrier to the entry of people and objects. Provide clean water and feed sources. Use poultry housing that is wild bird and rodent proof. Use all-in, all-out management systems. Ban bird keeping by poultry workers. Change outer clothes and footwear when entering or exiting. Quarantine newly introduced or returning birds. Implement compartmentalization and zoning. Lastly, clean and disinfect thoroughly. In some cases, these measures may be restricted by limited resources. Where this is the case, focus on biosecurity measures that are practical and affordable proportionate to risk, and tailored to the situation. The first step to keeping a flock free of infectious disease is to ensure that the poultry and homestead are isolated from sources of infection. To ensure this, take the following steps. Separate different species. Prevent the introduction of new birds from live bird markets or neighbours into an older flock. Quarantine new birds for a period of time before allowing them to join an older flock. Quarantine animals that appear to be sick. Do not reintegrate birds that have been to market back into the flock before decontamination. Prevent contact with wild birds and other domestic pets to mitigate the possibility of cross-species contamination. The second step is to control the traffic flow in and out of susceptible areas. This simple measure will limit exposure to illness. This can include fencing the perimeter of areas where poultry are kept, adding gates to pens to help keep out unwanted visitors, and limiting the movement of equipment, people and products to and from the farm. Notifying guests to avoid contact with livestock can also help to combat the transmission of disease. The third step to keeping a healthy farm is sanitation. Cleaning equipment and housing and maintaining personal hygiene will lead to the control of disease agents. This entails using fresh or dedicated clothing exclusively for the chicken housing, including gumboots. Cleaning and disinfection of all equipment and frequent washing of hands before and after handling poultry or their products. To ensure proper disposal of dead animals, make sure that adults bury any dead poultry. In the event of an epidemic, high levels of biosecurity measures should be enforced. One way of understanding different threat levels is to use the traffic light system. Green represents the lowest threat level and should be used when disease is not present in the country or in neighbouring countries. 
Green is only used outside the known period of wild bird migration, as these can carry disease from one area to another. Amber represents a medium threat level and is used when disease is present in neighboring countries at a low level and not close to the border. The highest threat level, red, should be considered when disease is present in neighboring countries close to the border or at high levels. Red alert levels also apply when backyard poultry are close to known wild bird migration routes or resting sites during migration seasons. While biosecurity is never 100% proof against infections, it is important to remember that biosecurity need not be perfect to eradicate disease in the overall population. Biosecurity depends on worthwhile practical measures that family poultry farmers can implement.